right, Derek, so you've been here a few months now. What's your transition been like from high school to college and into the program at Rutgers? Um, it's been a great experience, great learning experience. Uh, nothing but learning going on every day from me. Um, and just learning from the older guys, learning from the coaches, learning from all the experience that everybody else has around me. Um, it's, it's been great, though. And uh, what's been the biggest kind of adjustment for you from the high school game to the college level? Um, I think the biggest adjustment is definitely the talking level that the game has, has to be on to be a great team. Um, you know, you go from 200 to 300 people in high school stands, and then now you're going to thousands of people. Um, it's just a talking level, and, and your mentality just has to go up another level. So um, I think I've been working on that pretty well, and um, I think it's definitely coming along. And what's it been like in terms of learning from the older players like Paul and Cam, Caleb, uh, in the backcourt and just uh, how it's helped your game develop. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's been great, you know. Um, I learned from the older guys how to be a great person on and off the court because uh, basketball can only take you so far. So um, I think uh, my mentality on and off the court has definitely got better and all that. And uh, what was it about Rutgers in, in terms of and Steve Playful, you know, that made you want to come here? Um, I want to go with yeah the, the underrated players that have came came here um, for sure. Um, myself, I was a very underrated player, and a lot of guys around me were very underrated. Um, and I think we just come here and we all push each other to be better. And um, we all set the bar high and we just go at it. So I, I talked to Gio uh, on my podcast this summer, and uh, he loved the fact that you picked number zero. Uh, you know, how, how conscious of you were you in picking that in terms of it being his mm -hmm. number? Uh, was that your number previously? And I guess, uh, you know, how, what are your thoughts on the expectations that come with wearing that number? Yeah, um, I never wore zero in my life, so this is definitely new. Um, my main number is like two or three or something like that. Um, but when I heard zero was the opportunity, I said, you know, I might as well embrace it and um, kind of go at it. But um, Gio, uh, Gio's been very uh, good to me. Uh, past year, we, we talk a lot about NIL stuff, basketball stuff. And um, I learned a lot from him, so he kind of was just, you know, he kind of, just like you had my blessings with it, brother. So uh, <laughs> I appreciate him for that. Yeah. Is it almost like a mental thing in terms of helping to push you along by by knowing you're kind of you're, you're kind of willingly put, putting yourself on a you know on on a, on a pedestal a little bit in terms of having to meet those expectations? Mm -hmm. right you know, away. I have thought about that, but at the at, at, after a couple of times of wearing zero in practice, I kind of got over that. And it's like <laughs> you know, it's my number now, so I'm gonna embrace it and, and, and get after it. And what about this team in terms of uh, you know practicing? You know, how are you gonna help this team this mm -hmm. year? Um, I'm gonna help the team by um, pretty much being a point guard, being a leader, um, being able to make, uh, being able to have productive minutes in games when I get in um, or on the bench or anything like that. Um, and I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity. The coach talked about uh, how he intentionally put Caleb on you a lot in the uh -huh. beginning just to kind of get you ready and, and used to what it's like at the college level. How did that help you? And, um, you know, how is, has Caleb helped you in terms of development? Ca Ca Caleb can guard his butt off. Um, <laughs> and he's about 6'6", six, six, and his arms are super long. And you really have to out you have to outthink him. I think I've only done it a couple times. And the rest of the times, he's, he's on me. So um, it's definitely been a great experience for him guarding me, defensive player of the year last year. He's ready to run it back this year too, so um, I'm definitely definitely been a great experience him guarding me. And how has that been defensively in terms of adjusting the pipe system, and kind of uh, learning, you know, uh, kind of a higher level on that end of the floor? Mm -hmm. um, I think the first week of learning it was kind of hard for me. Um, first week I took a step by day, day by day, kind of just learning all the processes, all the screen coverages, um, all the gaps I need to be in. Um, but so far, so far I've gotten um, I've gotten way better at it. I, I'm not gonna lie. It um, way better, and now it's just a mental game and just kind of knowing where to be at all times. And how excited are you to play at the rack with the, with the fans? And I know you went to a lot of games last year, but uh, you know how much did that go into your decision? And kind of how excited are you being a Jersey guy, being able to play you know, in a place like this? Um, it, it's an amazing feeling. You know, every time I walk in here, I'm like, oh my god, I get to play in here. Um, so it's definitely it's, it's definitely fun to think about, but you know sometimes you know you think about all the people that come in here and how loud it can get. But you know what, um, I'm I'm ready for it all. And uh, with NIL, you, you do work with Night Society, correct? Yes. How has that experience been? You know, obviously with Geo, but just in terms of Night Society in general and the opportunity with NIL that you have. Um, it's it's a great opportunity just for just because they only do Rutgers. Um, it's only Rutgers athletes. They're not going to other schools and doing other things. So it's 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 something great that Rutgers and Geo Baker and all his people are doing. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely fun because all the different opportunities you have, all the different um, big people, bigger people that you can talk to and get great opportunities with in the future. So, yeah. and what's it been like connecting with fans through that as well? Um, it's, it's, it's been fun. It's been fun. Um, you know, it's funny because we had our open practice last week and I met 
three former Lenape graduates. They come up to me, hey, I graduated from Lenape. I'm like, oh my god, this is so, this is cool. Like, you can't, you can't beat this. So, yeah. Last question for you, just in terms of your goals and, and uh, the team goals for this year. I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, your personal goals, but also the team goals. You know, what are your expectations for your first year? Um, um, my expectations yeah. for this year is to just be, just be a great teammate. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a freshman, so I don't expect to do the you know, best of things all the time, at all times. So I just want to be there for my teammates who are there, who are going to play, have a great time. You know, compete with my teammates at all times too, and um, set the bar high for them. So when it's time for game time, they're ready to go. Just talk. Best of luck in your first season. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nice meeting.